All right, y'all. So it is a wrap on California. Like, for real, for real. Like, I'm checking out of my hotel today. I am. Did they kick me out? No, I can still get in my room. I am. Look, I got my luggage at the door, honey. I'm ready to go. Checkout time is noon. Okay, sis, I'm gonna be out here well before noon. Ooh, let me take these coronavirus. Let me take these shoes off. Uh-uh. We can't have that. Actually, I'm leaving these here. These are done. I'm not even taking them home. Honey, I am packed and ready to go. Let me tell you what I have <laughs> left right now. Let me put my things down. Right now. <laughs> What is left in this room is the clothing and face mask that I'm wearing in up and through the airport. Lotion and deodorant, okay? That's it. Suitcase is packed. Sis is ready to go. Sis being me. Now, I will tell y'all that I have some food left in my refrigerator but i'm not gonna be able to take that with me so i'm going to count that as a loss and it's fine it's totally fine i gave away um let me see if i can show y'all out this window you probably won't be able to see it but oh you will look so there is a um my co-worker last night told me what it was called but it's basically um a tent city where there are homeless people who live across the street from this hotel which I didn't notice that until yesterday so when I was packing up I went ahead and decided to just give them I had a whole bag like a trash bag let me turn my camera around because why am I filming out the window I don't know so I had a trash bag full of food like cereal mostly um non-perishable stuff that I clearly was not gonna pack in my luggage and bring it home. So I was like, why don't I just get, I was gonna take the food to work cause they have a pretty big kitchen. Um, actually I have a hospital tour video. So if you haven't watched that, watch it. If you have, you will have seen that they have a pretty big kitchen and um, on the unit that I was just working at which my assignment ended today and I'm excited to be going home. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I ended up giving the food to the um, people who live in that little tent city because I didn't need it. And I was just like, let me just do it. So I did. This video is kind of like a recap of my assignment. So mm, I can sit on this bed in these scrubs because I'm checking out today. Is that selfish? No, or ordinarily I would not have worn these home and I would definitely not be sitting on my bed in scrubs. Not nowadays, but I'm getting ready to disrobe and shower and get ready to go. I almost feel like it's no point in taking a nap because I don't want to miss my flight. Like I'm scared. If I close my eyes, I'm gonna miss my flight and I cannot risk it. Okay. So I will see y'all at the airports. Airport is the next place. I'm going to see y'all. Made it to my gate. It's like three people in the airport. The airport is creepy. I know people kept saying a few weeks ago, they're going to stop flying domestically. I don't know. It, the last time I flew, it was empty in the airport. This time, it's empty, empty. So, I made it from California to Phoenix. So, I'm now um, in a, um, I think it's like an hour and a half layover here in Phoenix. It is uh, 3.47 phoenix time i guess that's central time i'm not sure um 
but yeah I'm here my flight leaves here at 5 10 p.m. and then it gets into Baltimore at like 20 minutes after midnight so I um the flight from California to here was like an hour and 30 minutes and I slept most of that flight and I plan on sleeping the rest of the flight not much to show you guys here in the airport because it's empty it's I don't know what it's like nobody here look it's like empty empty nothing most of the stores and things in here are closed there's a couple food places open a couple stores open but the airport is nothing like it used to be like jumping jumping it's crazy so i'll check in with y'all when i get home because there's not much to see here nothing but me and my mask okay Baltimore. Washington International Airport. I'm huffing and puffing because, chill. <laughs> Look at these heavy bags. But I made it. Made it back home. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and ready to get my luggage and go take a bath in my bathtub and sleep in my own bed. Who would have ever thought? I would be so excited to get back to Maryland. <laughs> well, I am. I am happy to be home. I gotta give that mask some rest. <laughs> rest. It was getting hot under there, Lord. But I made it back. All in all, it wasn't a bad travel day at all. Don't feel as bad having to leave later in the day. Because guess what? I'm home so it doesn't matter so I was so annoyed that I had to switch my flight from 6 30 a.m. to 1 30 p.m. but the end result is the same I made it home y'all collect my luggage and get an uber and then it's really gonna be real when I can sleep in my own bed for free well really not free because I do pay to live there <laughs> but I don't have to pay no hotel or to pay to stay in nobody else's house. Like, so this assignment's been a little challenging, which I'll talk about in another video. <laughs> but all in all, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't too bad. Like when I was actually in it, like day by day, sometimes I was like, when is this gonna be over? Most times I was like, when is this gonna be over? But um, I survived it. So you can do anything for 13 weeks you remember that if you have goals and dreams and desires to be a travel nurse you can do anything for 13 weeks once those 13 weeks is up you're done i'm done <laughs>